Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll create a Zabbix service for our online store and monitor its availability. Let's start by navigating to the services section. Click the edit button and then click the create service button to create our online store service. Start by giving your service a name. We will use the advanced configuration options to calculate the availability of our service. Click the add button in the additional rules section. We will set our service severity status to high if our rules are evaluated as true. In the condition settings, we will use the condition if weight of child services with warning status or above is at least 6. Provide the condition, weight and status. To ignore the basic rules and use only the advanced status calculation rules, we will set the status calculation rule to Set status to OK. Press the Add button to add the service. Next, we will add a couple of child services representing our web server nodes. Press the Add Child Service button. We will provide the child service name and problem tag. If a problem is tagged with the problem tag, the child service will inherit the problem and will be assigned the same severity as the problem. In my example, I will use the node name tag. The problems on this host will inherit the tag from the host and will be tagged with it. Mark the advanced configuration checkbox and assign the weight to your services. I will be defining four web server services, two primary and two backup nodes. The weight value for the primary services will be 4, while the backup node services will have the value of 2. Press the Add button to create the child service. Now repeat these steps and add more child services. For my example, I have created four child nodes. two main nodes with weight 4, and two backup nodes with weight 2. Lastly, let's simulate a problem. If a single web server node is down, the parent service remains in an OK state. On the other hand, if two primary nodes are down, or if a primary node and a backup node is down, my service state is unavailable and is marked with high severity, just as we have defined in our additional rules for the service status calculation. The root cause column displays a list of problems that have caused the service to become unavailable. Clicking on them will open the problems section, with the root cause problem displayed to us if we wish to further analyze it. We have managed to create a simple service tree for our online store and learned how to use the advanced calculation rules to calculate the status of our business service. Feel free to expand or simplify your service and explore the wide selection of rules available for service status calculation and propagation.